Hey YouTube, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, today's video comes from a channel favorite, and that is the Salmonella Academy. And today's video is one of the most popular ones that I haven't seen yet, and it is titled, Why It Sucked to Be a Pirate. Well, I know I don't have to use too much imagination to think of the reasons it would suck to be a pirate. Very unhealthy, very dangerous, but maybe we can dispel some myths like, did they actually wear eye patches over their eyes? Speaking of eyes, one of the most frequent comments that I get in the YouTube comment section is that I have really red bloodshot eyes. Now it's true, I've had kind of red eyes for a long time. One reason is that I've had LASIK eye surgery. Now, although my eyesight is awesome now, one of the side effects can be to have some drier eyes, which can kind of give off this effect. The other reason is I have a dog and I grew up allergic to dogs, so I still have a little bit of a reaction. Now, another big reason for eye strain in general that we're learning more about is with how much time we spend in front of computer screens. Now, computer screens give off what's called blue light, which can be irritating to eyes. And maybe you've seen it's a little bit more popular now that people are wearing protective eye gear when they're going to be behind computers for a long time. And since, you know, I spent a lot of time on YouTube and things, I thought maybe I should try this out as well. So I wanted to try out some eyewear and I got some frames from Felix Gray. So I got a non-prescription pair, but of course you can get them in prescriptions. And these are called the Black Faraday frames and I thought they looked kind of cool and maybe will make me look smart. So both the prescriptive and non-prescriptive lenses from Felix Gray will help block 15 times more blue light. So anyways, I want to try these out while I'm watching today's video. And at the end, I'll let you know what I think. All right, let's get started with the video. It's actually pretty relieving already, like instantly. A little bit of the uh, strain. You can, you can tell like immediately when you put them on. Hey, kids. Why it sucked to be a pirate. Hey Sid. little Jimmy. Yeah, what's up? Do Alex. you like Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, it's alright. So do you think it'd be fun to be a pirate? Yeah. Well guess what? You couldn't be more wrong. Oh fuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At some point, every kid has dreamed about being a swashbuckle and corn shuckle my hair. and cuckle and yeah. cocksuckle and pirate. But trust me when I say it was really not all it's cracked up to be. First we'll talk about the food. Okay. So one staple of the pirate diet was salted meat, usually wild oxen or pork. And I love jerky as much as the next guy, but this was like a bag of Jack Links. In fact, it was probably closer in texture to your shoes than any meat you've ever eaten. <laughs> now, a big reason why they salted meat wasn't just for like flavor, but uh, to preserve food. So this is an era before refrigeration and spices uh, help preserve food. That's a big reason why spices were such a valuable commodity in the old days uh, was for that, for, for uh, food preservation, specifically with meat. In those days, you couldn't just snap into a Slim Jim. That's a modern luxury that we take for granted. Back then, the slogan was, gnaw on a Slim Jim for minutes on end, grinding it between your molars while the <laughs> gallons of salt turn your mouth into a desert until the mangled hunk of flesh in your mouth is just soft enough to be shoved down your greasy fucking pirate throat without tearing a hole. Another essential food item was known as hardtack. This was essentially just flour that, and it? water baked into a cracker-like brick. Beyond Ew. the fact that it was totally Gross. flavorless, hardtack was also extremely dense, to the point where pirates would often have to slam their fists down on it in order to break it into pieces small enough Lambus to fit in bread. their mouth. As long as it was kept dry, hardtack almost never spoiled, although it often became infested with weevils. Um, excuse me, sir? I'm a vegan, so like, can I have a new piece? One without any of Mother Nature's beautiful creatures in it? Thanks. Wait a minute, is this gluten free? <laughs> This better be hemp rope. <laughs> now, nah, the weevils didn't make you sick or change the taste all that much. So, do, do you think there was people like that back in those days, or they were probably just grateful to have something to eat? This is true. The crew would just eat it in the dark, so that way they couldn't tell if they were eating a normal chunk or a weevily one. Then there's the crowding. So pirate ships typically packed in as many crew members as possible, because more pirates means more manpower when you go to board an enemy ship. Right. Of course, the downside to that is that you're basically like a bunch of hairy, unwashed sardines. Let me illustrate Gross. what a typical night below deck was like. So you're sprawled out on the damp, musty wood floor. Everything's pitch black, you can't see a thing. The smell of the filth and the mold forces you to only breathe through your mouth. Suddenly, your left hand feels wet, probably just seawater leaking through the hull. You sniff your hand, no Nope. 
No, that's piss. You feel something furry <laughs> rub up against your elbow. It was either the body of a diseased rat or the beard of your diseased crewmate. Either way, that's probably where the piss came from. Yeah, but rats, yeah, could be infested in a ship. Rats can swim. Not of people realize that. Uh, but yeah, rats are actually very good swimmers. Some guy's moaning loudly in the next room. Hopefully he's just jerking off, because if he's dying, that's one more body to deal with in the morning. Rinse and repeat for eight hours, and then it's daytime. The poor diet Ugh. and cramped conditions led to disease being being a huge problem aboard pirate ships. The most well-known of these diseases is scurvy, where you don't get right. enough vitamin C. When right. scurvy first begins, you just kind of feel tired all the time, no big deal. Then you get weird spots on your skin and your gums start bleeding. This so I, I figured, I guess they got scurvy, it's a lack of vitamin C. I guess they just didn't eat a lot of fruits, maybe, fruits and vegetables, um, especially vitamin C carrying ones. And that lets, uh, yeah, I know that was like the most famous of all the deadly things but let's go what is it exactly again what happens to you let's learn but these diseases is scurvy where you don't get enough vitamin c when scurvy first begins you just kind of feel tired all the time no big deal then you get weird spots on your skin and your gums start bleeding this progresses until all your teeth fall out and all of your body's mucous membranes start gushing blood and pus causing you to die so that's <laughs> a lot of fun there were tons of other diseases too i won't go through them all but here's a few honorable mentions also some people say that Typhus, malaria, yellow fever, syphilis, tuberculosis, blank rot, sniffles, jungle, blank, blank, sniffles, jungle, blank, sniffles, rotten, blank, jungles. Of other diseases. They too. all sound I won't terrible. Go through them all, but here's a few honorable mentions. Also, some people say that alcoholism is a disease. I might just be disturbed, but that's one sickness I could definitely get down with. If it is a disease, then yeah, just about every pirate had this. Not one. really, though. If anything, though, I'd call that people. one of the few upsides of pirate life. Finally, there's the combat. So you've alcoholism gone through all these no disgusting, joke. horrible living conditions, but at least you could enjoy the thrill of battle, right? Swinging from rope to rope, Didn't sword happen very mouth, much, huh? long, intense saber duels, that kind of thing. Nope. But that's typically not how it went down. For one right. thing, when pirates boarded a ship, nine times out of ten, they'd just surrender immediately. Because what are a bunch of well-groomed merchants going to do against a horde of disgusting barbarians? If True. the defending ship did decide to fight back, though, the resulting brawl wouldn't be anything like the movies. It'd be way worse, like immediate R rating. Because pirates rely <laughs> a lot on brutality, both because they don't have much real training, and because it scares the shit out of people. If you were a deckhand yeah. on an invaded ship, and you were stupid enough to fight back, you wouldn't be dancing around doing flips and shit none of that. Instead, they'd probably shoot you in the stomach with a flintlock pistol, Ooh. kick you to the ground, chop off your shoulder blade with a hand axe, gouge out your eyes with a marlin spike, wind your intestines around the prow, and then toss your okay. twitching body overboard. And that's only a slight okay, exaggeration. <laughs> Honestly, if Jack Sparrow got attacked by actual pirates, he wouldn't last a second. It's kind of like a used car salesman going to prison, like, I'll be fine. If anybody tries intimidating me, I can get out of it with my quick wit and charming personality. Boy, you look real pretty from behind. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm boned. So, yeah, in short, if you're thinking about pulling a Captain Phillips anytime soon, yeah. I'd advise against it. That's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam and Ella, and thank you for watching. All right, let's talk about pirates. So, yeah, I don't know if any of us actually thought that pirate life would be cool. Um, it even looks kind of sucky in the pirate movies. But nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, yeah, it was it was awful. It's why in those eras too, when you hear about like the explorers, even and not just pirates, um, how deadly it was. I mean, it was so common for, uh, you know, you have the course like the shipwrecks and all that, but how unhealthy it was. I mean, most of these people die on these voyages uh, again because of horrible diseases and things that 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 went on back then. Uh, but yeah, very, very just disgusting. I don't know how you could even sleep on a pirate ship or a ship in general like that. Old, creaky, rocking all the time because, you know, you've got all the water. But yeah, uh, I, yeah I, don't sign me up. And modern piracy, same thing. That sounds pretty awful. But yeah, that's something I always talk. I have talked about this in my class a lot where I'm like, you guys, pirates, just so you know, it's actually not very fun at all. Um, they're basically criminals and a lot of them resorting to this stuff, but could be potentially a profitable thing, especially with like, uh, privateering when you'd get a, you know, government that would like sponsor somebody like Sir Francis Drake, and then they would make all kinds of money off this sort of thing. And then when privateering ended, a lot of these people just ended up sticking with piracy, but now working for themselves rather than a government. And I'm sure without those 
uh, financial backers. This is the era of piracy that you think about, like they're talking about, where it's just completely undersupplied, malnourished, even worse. But even at that height of like privateering, wouldn't want to do it either. Anyway, so I've been uh, watching videos and, and editing and stuff with these uh, Felix Gray glasses. And yeah, I can definitely tell the difference. Like immediately when I'm putting them on it, it did, it almost has that effect of like when it's bright outside and you put on like sunglasses. And so it has a little bit of that relieving effect. I think there's something that'll be great, especially when I'm uh, you know, like editing videos, I'm going to be here for a bit uh, to do that sort of thing. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you're interested in maybe getting some, I'll uh, put a link down below. They have a 30 day money back guarantee as well, if you're interested. So, you know, maybe check them out too. All right, guys, and with that, the original video link is down below. Make sure you support Sam. We want him to come back, all right? So uh, with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.